Take a look at these six words here. These words are really nice because they show us what article they desire, they want. And you need to know how to recognize these signals they're giving away. Take a look at Käfig, for example. And I can see there's an IG at the end, which tells me that this word needs the article DER. And if you look down here, I've written down three lines with all the signals for the appropriate article. So DER, IK, LING, OR, ISMUS and ER, these all require the article DER. And I can find the IG here. So if you look at FRÜHLING and Let's say we look in this line again, I find Ling here, telling me Frühling needs the article DER. So if we continue like this, Mädchen, um, we won't find Shen here, but maybe here. So I see Tum, Shen, uh -huh, okay, and this requires the article DAS. So it's DAS Mädchen. Although matching means girl, obviously being feminine, a woman, later on, um, the grammar doesn't care about this that much, at least in this case. So um, it's das Mädchen because of the signal. Museum. Let's see if we find something that looks like the ending of museum. And I can see there's um here. So museum also is das. Yeah, it was nicer before. Okay, so Gesundheit and Polizei we will find here, you see height and later on you see I, so both of them are feminine. Because I find the signals at the end. So now, sorry I forgot this one. So now you have all the endings here, the question is how do you learn these the most efficient way? You could learn them individually, but that would just mean that you learn like five totally abstract, senseless syllables um, and that wouldn't really speed up any learning. So I've written them like this for a purpose. And um, if you speak these in this order, they sound like a fantasy word, like a word that not yet exists and will never exist, doesn't mean anything. But still, reducing one, two, three, four, five informations to just one. The one information of the word you're going to hear now. So I've learned this myself, like this. I just spoke der Iglingorismus there a few hundred times, or maybe less, and that's what enabled me to learn Iglingorismus there, to recognize all the signals for the article there. The same I did for DAS and D. So let me speak these to you in a slow way so you can repeat them and practice them. It takes a week or maybe a bit longer if you do it like three times a day for a few minutes, but it's totally worth going for it because it will speed up your learning and you will speak proper German later on. So let me speak this to you. It's DAS Tumchen Momentum Leinness. One more time. Das Tumchen Momentum Line Nis. Die Heitungkeit, Eischaftion, Itätig, Ure. And one more time. Die Heitungkeit, Eischaftion, Itätig, Ure. If you say these fast, if you learn these right, in the end it will sound like this. Der Iglingorismus, das Tumchen Momentum Line Nis. Und die Haltungkeit Eischaftsunität Kurier. You see, I don't have to think about it anymore. And it takes less than a second to recall them all. So this is your aim. Learn them well, so you can remember them quickly. One last thing. You might notice. That means the following signal is not as reliable as the ones before. There's always an exception or two. But these, let's say, are only 80% accurate, which still in comparison to 33%, which you get when you just guess the article, I think it's a good guess. It's a very good guess.